I think people are attracted to biology because it helps us understand the world around us. It helps us realise why plants are important and why animals need them. But it also helps us understand how we work as human beings. So if you really want to understand why people get sick or why people are really tall or why they can run incredibly fast, then you have to be a biologist. There's no other way to answer those questions. The research we do is really based around answering two kinds of questions. Firstly, I'm excited about understanding why different parasites hurt their hosts, the organisms that they live in, in different ways. Why is it that a cold only makes you feel a little bit icky, but if you get the flu, you're in bed for days? The other things that I'm interested in are conservation-related questions. And what's really important to me is helping to create a world where we still have biodiversity around us. I think what really excites the students um, in biology at Royal Holloway is all of the time they spend in labs and the time they spend doing their own research, be that desk research or lab-based research or field-based research. I think they also really enjoy field courses too. Um, and I think that's true for all biology students. Actually getting out there and seeing the world and understanding it and getting your, getting your feet wet is a really exciting thing to do. All of our third year students do a research project and when they do that, they're working with a member of staff like me. They are doing new research. They're asking a question that hasn't been asked before and they're learning a whole bunch of skills and techniques that we use in the lab on a day-to-day -day basis. For me, bringing my research into teaching is important for two reasons. Firstly, because I think it means that the students are learning the cutting edge work. But from my perspective, it's great because when you show people your research, they ask you questions. And the more diverse the array of people you ask questions, the more interesting questions you'll get. And that challenges your own understanding of your work. And it can push you in new directions, or it can make you rethink what you've just concluded. So I think the nice thing about the staff student community here in the School of Biological Sciences is that the students really get very close attention. So they're in a tutorial group. That means they have essentially one-on-one -on -one interaction with a member of staff. There's a real community here. It's not staff on one side and students on the other. We're working together. Mm -hmm.